Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and staying really safe and well in your homes like me. I know many of you are having to resort to painting your own nails and one of my lovely subscribers, Caroline, asked me on a question of the day. You guys might know I've been asking you to ask any questions you have as a question of the day and in a future video I will choose one to answer. So I answer Caroline's question briefly but I also wanted to turn into a whole video about my nails, how I do my nails, how I take care of my nails, how I keep them long and strong, how I paint them and all my favourite shades. Now quick confession that I've got to make to you before we get started. This is not the first time I've filmed this video. This is the second time I'm filming this video. Something happened. I don't know what to tell you. I wish I knew what to tell you but Last time I filmed this video, half of the footage got corrupted and it was just gone. <laughs> I can't tell you how much we laughed. Not a lot, not a lot. We didn't laugh at all, in fact. It wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't a great day for me in YouTube land, but we're back. We're gonna, we're gonna redo. But what you may notice is halfway through this video, there are some changes. There might be some light changes. There's definitely gonna be some hair and makeup changes, but I did remember to put the same top on, so you know, you're welcome. So I'm gonna start off by telling you how I keep my nails in tip-top condition. So one of the things Caroline asked me was whether I take supplements or use some kind of, you know those gummies, you can get hair and nail gummies or vitamins specially claiming to be good for hair and nails, things like that. I do not, I don't take any supplements. I have a very, very healthy diet. Um, I know I've spoken before about my diet. I eat very, very clean, very, very um, good nutrition and I keep super healthy and fit. To me, that's better than taking or relying on supplements. I get all my supplements and nutrition that I need from my diet. Um, so I guess that's maybe why I have pretty good condition nail. The other things I do is that I keep them filed really regularly. It's very tempting when your nails get long to just keep them growing longer and longer and longer. As you can see mine, they're fairly long, but they're not insanely long. And this is as long as I will let them get. Any longer than this, and I file them and just keep them at this length, because I feel like if they get much longer, that's when they start to chip or when they start to catch on things, and that's when they break. So I keep them filed. I use this metal file. These are super cheap. They're, this is just from Boots, a few pounds. And I just go in and I file them. I file them I file them really regularly. Anytime I get a nick or a rough edge, file it straight away because that's what turns into a ripped nail. But to keep them in shape, I file them just every couple of days. I just love doing my nails. I've always done my own nails. Um, I think I literally have only been to the salon one time, which is when I got married. Um, but I just, I love doing them myself. I love changing the colour all the time and I just find it really therapeutic. So I'm guessing a lot of you guys are going to be jumping on that bandwagon at the moment now that we can't get out and about and doing our own nails and maybe like me, you'll become a convert and start loving it. So this one is for you. So yeah, I just use this every couple of days to keep them at the nice length. I also choose, as you can probably see, a pretty squoval, I guess it would be, shape where it's quite squared off at the top. And I don't know the facts behind this but I feel like this keeps my nails less likely to break I think if you've got a pointier nail shape or a rounded nail shape it's kind of more open to breaking or chipping whereas if it's like a solid square it feels and looks stronger to me I don't know if that's factually correct but that's how I feel and that's just the shape I prefer my next tip is removal when I was younger I used to just paint on top of paint and paint and paint if I wanted to change the color I would just paint on top of what was on there until I had 46,000 layers of nail varnish whereas now every single time I want to change the color I remove it and start again. I think that's really important because I think when you get layers, it's really tempting to start peeling them or picking them and that's so bad for your nails. I never, ever pick or peel my nail varnish off. I always use a proper remover. This is the cheapest chips one that I use. It's just the Boots Nail Polish Remover Dip and Twist. And it has a little sponge soaked with nail polish remover inside and you just shove a finger in there, twist it around and 
this sounds horrific. And it's off in seconds and you're ready to restart. So as far as actually the painting process, I always use a base and top coat. And this is the one that I love. It's the OPI start to finish base coat, top coat and strengthener. This one's nearly all gone and I will 100% repurchase this. I got this in an influencer box and I've never looked back. I never used something like this before until I got this for free um, and now I can't live without it. I really noticed a difference in how smooth my nails look. The finish looks super professional but the main thing is how long they last. Like I feel like my nails stay perfect, no chipping, no fading until I literally decide to change them. They can last a week and still look perfect and then I'll change them. Um, so I really would recommend something like this. This is the OPI one as you're about to find out. OPI is the temple at which I worship. So you do a thin coat of this on every nail. By the time you've done the last nail on the second hand, you can go in with your nail polish. And I always start off with one super thin coat. I pick this lesson up or this little trick up by watching someone who actually knows what they're talking about, some professional somewhere here on YouTube, can't remember who, but you do a very thin coat just to make sure that there's a, a layer across the entire nail that there's no natural nail showing through with a very thin coat that will dry very very quickly so you're not sat there for hours then I go in with a much thicker coat to get the coverage that I want sometimes I'll even go in with a third coat today this polish probably could have done with a third coat but I was hunched over a table and I could not take any more so I just went with two for today for the purpose of the video and then I go in when that is dry with a thick coat of the OPI start to finish and we are done. Other than starting with a thin coat and then going in with a thick coat, the only other thing like tip wise I have as far as application is to keep your hand flat on a steady surface. Don't try doing your nails in bed like I quite often do. Flat, steady surface like at any table. I also find that I put my brush flat on the nail and then I kind of shove it against the cuticle to make sure that the nail is fully coated and that's really the only tips as far as keeping it neat it's just practice that's really all it takes. So now I'm going to share with you my 10 favourite colours. Now fair warning all of these colours are OPI. These are by far my favourite brand, my favourite nail colours. I love the OPI brand. I think they're fairly reasonably priced. I love the range of shades that they have. I think they're all really, really good quality. You get a really nice, big sized nail polish, but the main reason I think these are worth the money is that they do not dry out. You will be able to use these until they are all gone. Um, whereas I find a lot of the cheaper nail polishes, they are drying up or like getting really, really thick. And I know you can do stuff to thin them back out, but I can't be bothered. I'd much rather just pay a few pounds more for OPI polish. No, I can use the whole thing. I'm getting a really big size. I'm probably gonna use less because they need less coats because they're really nice opaque finishes. And I just love all the colors. I get a lot of my OPI polishes from Nail Polish Direct. I will link their website down below. Not sponsored, they don't know who I am. I pay for them myself, but they do great prices. These are always all reduced and they do really quick and easy. I think they're free or very cheap shipping as well. So I would highly recommend checking that website out. If like me, you love an OPI nail polish. So first up, I'm going to tell you about Put It In Neutral. I picked this up after hearing Desi Perkins raving about this one. Um, apparently it's the only nail polish she basically ever wants to wear. And it was exactly, it sounded like what I was looking for. I wanted a very natural nail shade. As you can see, it's like almost just like prettying up your nails. It's not like a whole color. It's certainly not fully opaque. You can do three, four, five coats and make it more so hide the, the tip of the nail more, but this is very much about a natural nail. Maybe you're not allowed to wear nail varnish if it's a school or something and you just want your nails to look nice and pretty um, and make them give them a bit of shine and make them look smoother. This is a perfect color for that purpose. It is just so natural, like are your nails but better? 
in lipstick terms really really pretty really really soft natural if you don't like nail varnish if you're afraid of nail varnish if you don't really know what you're doing this is like a really good starter shade because you really can't go wrong it literally just looks like your nails are perfect and beautiful so next up is dolce de leche another beautiful neutral natural nail shade a little darker then put it in neutral and a little more colour to it. Next up is Barefoot in Barcelona, an absolute classic, one of their most popular shades. Again, a neutral, natural shade, but a bit more brown and a bit darker, again, than Dolce de Leche. Then we have the shade that I have on today, which is Staying Neutral. Gorgeous, sort of dark grey, like with a hint of sort of taupey purple shade to it gorgeous what i'm wearing today very similar to staying neutral this is topeless beach it is a little bit darker and more on the taupe side versus the slightly more leaning brown brownie gray of staying neutral but very similar you don't need both and now moving on to the brighter, more colourful shades. My favourite sort of colourful nail polish ever is Rice Rice Baby. The perfect sort of pinky purple shade, gorgeous coverage, really, really opaque with just a couple of layers, just the perfect pinky purple. In the same kind of colour family, kind of matching my top, this is Lavender to Find Courage. In the same kind of colour family, as Rice Rice Baby, but this one is much brighter and more vibrant, perfect for spring and summer. Next up one that is a bit more bright and daring and unusual, this is I Am What I Amethyst, kind of like a cornflower blue and amethyst shade, absolutely beautiful and a bit more unusual. And then my two favourites and my picks for spring and summer, first up Mural Mural on the wall and my only favourite that is a glittery finish. This is like an orange corally shade with that gorgeous gold glitter. It's so pretty. And then the only super bright nail polish that I actually love, and this is brand new to my collection, this is Orange U, a rock star, and I'm obsessed. Look at it. It's just perfect for spring. I don't usually love bright nails but that shade particularly has changed my mind. I really hope you enjoyed this little nail video, something slightly different. Probably a lot of us are having to paint our nails a lot more than we usually used to as we can't get to nail bars, nail salons right now. So I'm hoping this inspired you to pick up some shades and to give it a go yourself. If you have any other questions or your own tips, if you're a nail professional and you know way more than I do, please let us know your top tips tips for caring for our own nail during this time in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise take care for now. Bye 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 bye.